Halo pemirsa YouTube, kembali lagi dengan saya Lord Deus di Game Still Life dan kembali lagi kita bermain sebagai detektif wanita ini dan kemarin kita sudah ya di video sebelumnya kita sudah menginvestigasi dan mengumpulkan bukti-bukti dan sekarang saatnya kita kembali ke kantor ya untuk eh, menyetor barang bukti gitu kita langsung aja ya I don't need to do this again. Uh, kita langsung aja lari, 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 lari pulang ke kantor ya. Oke, okay, dia cerita ini ya. Let's Ayo, kita pulang Miller. Oke, okay, where to? Saat kita melapor ke kantor. Waduh, dan terjadi tangganya roboh, guys. Oh, diangkat. <laughs> Ini jagoannya tuh agak-agak gimana gitu ya, katanya. Apakah kau menyukai mereka? Itu maksudnya seneng lu grepe-grepe susu gitu kan. <laughs> Dasar ini ya, jagoannya sangat-sangat ini apa gokil banget gitu ya. Kita coba di sini sepertinya kita membutuhkan sesuatu ya. Good idea. All I need now is something to pry these boards off. Oke, okay, coba. Kalau nggak salah di kembali di tempat investigasi kita bisa mengambil kaki meja ya. Kita bisa mengambil kaki meja untuk ini dia kita gunakan untuk untuk ini apa namanya untuk membuka jalan tadi ya kita mendapatkan kaki meja kita akan membuka ini Sini. I know, I know. Sudah tahu gitu kan. Ya langsung dipakai untuk. Hmm. Oke okay, berhasil kita keluar. Looks like I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. Karena ini kita loncat aja. Wih, cerita lagi. Ada bus ya, wih, mantep ya. Udah kayak ninja, guys. Dan saatnya kita kembali ke kantor. Man, that's smart. God, Miller, are you okay? <laughs> Di ketawain, guys. <laughs> Do you think he's okay? Yeah. Nah, dia baik-baik saja katanya. He's fine. He's fine gitu. Saatnya kita uh, masuk ke dalam mobil dan kita kembali to the office ya ke kantor polisi harusnya tuh ada animasi gitu naik mobil ngeng gitu kan ya langsung aja kita naik ini ya elevator naik lift kantornya di lantai 8 menunggu menunggu ya tiba-tiba mati gitu terus ada hantu di pojokan horor banget kalau terjadi guys ya 
kalau terjadi pasti serem kita masuk ke sini I have a message Oke okay. Hello Victoria This is Todd I heard about the fifth murder I expect a full report on my desk tomorrow morning Yes you would Wouldn't you Saja ngomong ya temen kita tadi ya Why did you take so long getting here? You're the only one with a 4x4. Christ, I don't even want to go there. I mean, what is it with these idiots who buy 20 lottery tickets anyway? I mean, do they really have to waste everyone's time? God, they piss me off. I just wanted a pack of gum, too. Hey, last time I saw you, you were limping to your car. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just my ego. It got hurt more than me, I think. So what are you up to? I started the report. I figured you were too pooped to do it. You know, Miller, you do have your moments. Anything I can do to help with the report? Actually, yes. I need Claire's preliminary report to help me out. I'm not going down there. She might lock me up in one of the drawers and leave me there. Also, I need the pictures you took. So could you please drop the camera and the evidence shoot in the hallway? Okay, jadi see you later. Kita harus naro itu ya. Naro barang bukti ya. Di mana barang buktinya? Kita taro ini ya. Oke, okay, sudah dan kita ke bawah, ke lantai bawah. Agent McPherson. Officer Tate. Okay. Agent Ashby wants to see you. Officer yang tadi ya. She's waiting for you at the morgue. Yang All right. di tempat so, kejadian. So, how did you guys get the body down? Me and some of the forensic guys set up a ladder where the stairs fell. Oh, well, I hope no one got hurt. Nope, I know what y'all mean, though. That place was as stable as lemmings near a cliff. Dia megangin pinggang kayak sakit encok nih. Sekarang kita ke B2. That's weird. Hmm. My access code doesn't work. Akses kodenya tidak ber, tidak ini. Mungkin ada sesuatu yang bisa kita periksa, guys. Jadi ada tanda. Hmm. Stinks in there. Ini nggak ada yang bisa diklik, guys. Coba kita keluar. Siapa tahu ada sesuatu. To find out who the gunman was behind the grassy knoll, please call 555-1963. Now that's tasteless. I never use mixed public washrooms. They're just too icky.
no vodka oh 583 hmm. coba kita coba dari kode tadi ya kita coba random gitu ya that's weird my access code doesn't work kita coba random Wih, berhasil guys. <laughs> Oke, sekarang kita bicara dengan ini ya. Hey Claire, get that preliminary lab work done? As a matter of fact, I'm not quite finished. However, I have enough to brief you on if you have the time. For you, always. Oke, okay, here goes. The victim's blood revealed high levels of alcohol. Also, I found traces of rohypnol, which is also known as the date rape drug. This explains why there was no apparent struggle throughout the assault. The assault started in the first room where she was beaten. She probably fell when you found the spot of blood. She was then carried into the next room. Wah, kejam banget ini, guys. The killer ripped oh, off her clothes. Oh, ada pentilnya. She definitely was unconscious at this point. He let her bleed on the floor until he had enough blood to write the messages you found using the luminol. Oh. The killer then cleaned off the messages. Obviously, he knew we would find them. He then dragged the victim by her hair along the hallway and stopped to hang up his coat. He finally brought her into the bathroom. The cause of death was drowning. He forced her head under the water until death ensued. Like the other victims, she was killed before the mutilations. She was stabbed nine times and then eviscerated from the lower sternum to the lower abdomen. What are you thinking? Good job, Sakali, guys. Thinking these mutilations will get worse. It wasn't part of his MO for the first three victims. They were found beaten and drowned, not like this. Do you think he'll change his MO in the near future? No, I don't think so. Drowning his victims seems to be his focus. That stage in the assault is very important to him. No, the stabbing business is from something else. I have a feeling that if we knew what it was, we would catch the son of a bitch. Also, he covered the face of the fourth victim and now this one. This strongly suggests that he knew the last two victims. I'll ask Miller to correlate the last two victims' info. How about you? Did you come up with anything interesting? Yes, I got a partial that doesn't belong to the victim. Very nice. Did you compare it to the partial you found from the fourth crime scene? No, not yet, but I'll let you know if I can compare them. After all, they are only partials. What about the stuff I found? Anything worth mentioning? Anything worth mentioning? We know that our killer has black hair, if it was he that hung his coat on the nail. It might have been a junkie for all we know, but it doesn't matter. We can use the hair for DNA comparison and place him at the scene of the crime. I sent the fibers to the FBI labs to see if they can find anything unusual or unique about them. Okay, saatnya kita. Okay, sweetie. I'm out of here. Don't forget my beautifully handwritten report. It's on the table. Okay, di meja katanya jangan lupa diambil. Dan ini udah nggak ada apa-apa ya, jadi saatnya kita keluar. Yang penting kita sudah mendapatkan informasi bagaimana si wanita tersebut terbunuh ya. Kejam sekali ya. Dan ini dia mendapatkan telepon. Hi sweetheart. Hey dad. Oh bapaknya ya. Another one. Yes another one. Is everything okay with you? I'm okay. I'm just really tired of this case. It's going nowhere fast. I hate this passiveness. 
I think it's starting to get the better of me. Well, before that actually happens, why don't you come here and rest? A little R&R &R won't do you any harm. You can use the jacuzzi to relax and put your thoughts in order. And it's almost Christmas. I have a little gift for you. Oh, really? Well, I have the gift you wanted. Are you sure you want it? It seems a little ordinary. Hey, <laughs> it's what I wanted. So, are you coming to the house? Yeah, sure. Okay, honey. I'll see you soon. Dad? Yes, honey? Thanks. You're more than welcome. See you in a bit. Bye. Oke okay guys, uh, setelah pu ke, setelah kita mendapatkan detail dari pembunuhan tersebut, kita ditelepon oleh ayahnya si cewek ini ya. Si cewek ini ditelepon katanya istirahat dulu aja pulang gitu. Dan untuk part pulangnya kita akan lakukan di video berikutnya. Terima kasih sudah menonton. Jika kalian suka videonya, jangan lupa untuk pencet like-nya. Dan jika kalian baru di channel ini, jangan lupa untuk memencet tombol subscribe serta nyalakan lonceng button untuk mendapatkan notifikasi setiap kita update. Sampai berjumpa lagi di video berikutnya. Adios, amigo.